do have this attacker's gun. They have the bag that he was carrying when he carried out the attack, and it has a variety of items in it that can help clue them in to who he is, including some form of ID. So it does seem that it's really just a matter of time before police are able to catch up with this man, but they also warn the public saying, look, while this is an active shooting situation, as is evidenced by the heavy police presence still out here outside the subway station, while it's an active shooter situation, they want people to be on the lookout for this man and so have this description out. Take a look. They say he's five feet, five inches tall, heavy build, wearing a green construction type vest and gray hooded sweatshirt at the time of the attack. Knowing this information, they say, who knows, it could help people help police track him down. Both the police commissioner and the governor talked further about the public's interaction with this suspect, who they say should be considered possibly armed and definitely dangerous. Have a listen. They're asking for the public's help. Anyone with information, videos, or photographs, no matter how insignificant they think it may be, is encouraged to call Crime Stoppers at 800 577 TIPS. All calls are strictly confidential. It is likely that someone out there listening to this is going to help us lead us to that individual. You have a description of what they're wearing, you know the details. But this is the day we pull together as New Yorkers, united in a common purpose to say no more. Police have been distributing among their precincts pictures of a U-Haul van with Arizona plates that they want officers to be on the lookout for. And another thing we've seen here is a variety of officers going from business to business, looking at surveillance video, recording it, sharing it. What most, have the, what most of them have seen are people fleeing the scene, but they also say that this gunman, this attacker, was one of those people. 